For more than 12 years, Hirsch Wellness Network has designed healing arts programs for cancer patients in treatment, survivors, their family members, and caregivers to celebrate self-expression as a way to relieve stress, renew the spirit, and foster hope throughout the cancer journey and beyond. We are thrilled to offer this inspiring series of online arts and wellness activities as you receive your care at Cone Health Cancer Centers. My name is Mavis Liggett and I'm an artist in residence for Hurt Wellness Network. I'm so glad you've joined me today for this healing arts activity, capturing light and all the colors in the rainbow. With two different mandalas that you have in your package, this mandala has clear areas that we're going to color and then you can hang this in the window. This one is a velvet mandala and this can be used on display on a wall. It's not clear. So I'm going to show you how to use markers to color this mandala. I like to start with yellow because yellow is a primary color and I can mix other colors with it and achieve another color when I mix them together. I'm going to mix this yellow one with cyan, the light blue, and red. I think I'll start with the red and the yellow because I'm going to start in the center and make it like a sunburst. You can do anything that you want to do. You can start with whatever color you want. So I'm going to start, and you might want to have a white paper underneath this so you can see your colors well. So here I am just adding some yellow to the center here. And you can see that I'm making marks that go in the direction of this sunburst. Take your time. You don't have to do what I'm doing. Do what feels right to you. Use the colors that you love. But do keep it bright, so be careful when you mix your colors. I'm going to run around the edge here with the point of this, just like this. And I'm going to be very careful and keep a little pressure on the side of the pen and try not to go onto the white around this clear area. But don't worry if you do. There's really no right or wrong. Nobody's going to get hurt. Now I'm moving into the center. And as I'm doing this, the magic marker is picking up some of the yellow from below. And I'm going to start getting a little bit of orange in the center. But that's what I was looking for, is to have a feeling of a starburst. So see how I'm just making little marks? Now I'm going to go back in and fill in these other areas. So while we are doing this activity, we're not thinking about anything else. We're thinking about the next mark we're going to make, the next color we're going to use, what we think about what we just, do I like it like this? Do I want to add some little dots to this? Do I want to, oh, I like that. I think that looks like fun. Now I'm going to go ahead and pick up my cyan, and this is the lighter blue. You may not have the cyan in your kit, you may have a darker blue, but I'm going to start with this light blue. And on this, I'm just going to again go around the edge. And then I'm going to color it in, and I'm just going to be sort of mindful about where I'm making these marks. Trying to touch the line I made before. I'm just going to take my time. There's no rush. The marker will stay wet for a little while. So the next thing I'm going to do is go around 
and add color to these other diamond shapes around the center. Now there are six shapes here, so I know that if I decide to do light blue, dark blue, I can skip one and come in here with my light blue and fill in this area in the same way I did this last one. Just covering it with lines of color, mindfully trying to touch each line, not leaving any real gaps. Of course, if I do, I can just go back in and touch this. So as we do an activity like this, we're focused on this and none of the other things that might be happening in our life that are stressful. And any time you can do an activity that reduces your anxiety or stress, it's healing on the cellular level. That's why arts and wellness go so well together. So now I have my third shape in light blue. And I'm coloring it in in the same way. And now I'm going to think, what color do I want to go in the other three? And I think I'm going to go with the dark blue. I like blue and orange together. They're complementary colors. And that center sort of has a orangish look to it because of the yellow and the red together. Complementary colors together look really great. It's when we use complementary colors on top of one another that we get a result that we might not want. Complementary colors dull each other out. So try to avoid that. Now I can add the dark blue to the light blue and I'm going to do that I think once I'm done filling in these dark blue areas. So I said I wanted to come back in and do something in the center of the light blue area. You might want to hold this up and just take a look at what I've done so far. So I'm going to add some something to the center of this. And I think, well first I think I'm just going to take the dark blue and run it around this edge like this. Just encase that light blue with a dark blue outline. And go ahead and spin it around so that you're always working without touching what you've already done. Like I said, these pens will dry, but it takes a little while, so you don't want to run your hand over it. You'll get ink on you and maybe smudge your work. All right, I like that. So now I'm going to go ahead and add some more of the red. And I want to go into these round areas. So I'm going to do that before I do these shapes. I just want to see how that looks. So I use the marker and just starting at the outside and outlining, I just gradually fill in the circle. Just like that. And I spin it around again to not get my hand on those wet areas. Oh, I like the way that looks. Now I'm going to go back to the yellow, and I'm going to do the larger circles in yellow. Once I get these done, I'm thinking about what color I want to make these, these shapes that are between. Looks like a little smile, doesn't it? So 
So for the sun, these smile shapes, I believe I'm going to make those more orange. Now I don't have an orange pen. If you have an orange pen, you could just use orange in here. But of course, you may have chosen a totally different colorway than I'm using. But you see how I'm just mindfully following the shape with my marks? So sweeping shapes like that. And you'll notice too that I keep my fingers steady and it's all in the wrist. I'm just using my wrist to move the pen and fill in that area. So instead of trying to, to use my hand like this, I'm keeping the pen steady in my hand and all the movement is in my wrist. That just gives me a little greater control while I'm doing this. Oh, I like the way that looks. Now I know that when I put that red in there, the red and the yellow are going to blend together and I'm going to have an orange shape there. And that's just what I want. I want an orange shape in there. So in your package, you'll have a variety of pen colors to work with. And you may decide that you just want to work in yellow, green, and blue. You may want to work in complementary colors like I'm doing, orange and blue. You may decide to make every shape a unique color. There's no right or wrong. It's whatever feels good to you. Oh, I think that looks great. Now, I'm not going to complete this one, but I am going to show you another thing that you can do to make it kind of fun. Take your black Sharpie, and in these areas, in these white areas, go ahead and make a shape in there. Maybe follow the shape. And fill it in. And I'm going to do that around all of these yellow circles. Then when it's hanging in my window and I can see the sunlight coming through, I'll also have these dark areas around some of this. So it'll, from inside, it'll be dark and light, dark and white. And I think that'll look great. So enjoy making your stained glass mandala today. And then you can move on to your velvet mandala and color it in as well. Now this one is not transparent, so you won't want to hang this one in the window. But you could use it on the wall or just on the table, somewhere where you can enjoy looking at it. So here's another one that I've been working on. You'll notice I have some dark colors in there. I've added red and blue to make a deep purple color. I like the way that contrasts with the lighter colors and how the light comes through. Once I'm done with this one, I've got some fishing line here, and I'm going to tie a knot in this so that I can then put this suction cup in the window and hang my mandala from, the, from inside so that I can enjoy the light coming through it. So I have a little more to do on this one until it's finished, but I like the way it's turning out. I'm sure you're liking the way yours is turning out too. I hope you enjoy your activity today. <laughs>